In this video, I'm going over 21 tips from a 21 year old. If you would like to skip through all these tips, I will leave chapters in the description so then you can go to the ones that you feel like interest you the most. Let's get started. All right, so for the first one, it is move out of your hometown slash get out of your comfort zone. And for each of these, I'm gonna try and include a quote because I feel like it resides with everyone a little bit better. So for this one, it is everything you want is just outside of your comfort zone. So I feel like for me, moving out of my hometown was actually like the best decision I've ever made. And I feel like a lot of people who stay in their hometown stay the same. And I feel like when you move out of your like where you're always comfortable, you get to rewire your brain and you get to like reshape who you are and your lifestyle and just like what you do on a daily basis, who you talk to. and. You really can just change who you are. I believe a lot of people who are watching this are a lot younger. So if you're going to college, I recommend don't stay in the same like state that you are. Try and migrate into a different state just so you can meet different people, stay in a different area, have a different setting in your life and just, it's just different. And you really do notice the difference in your brain and you can feel it. So number two is learn the four types of luck. I feel like a lot of people think that luck is just 50-50. And actually, if you break it down, it could be broken down into four laws. So the first one is dumb luck and blind luck. And that's fortune and fate. For example, it's like if someone wins the lottery, it was just something they couldn't have done, it just happened. The second one is luck by stirring the pot. Now this is done by persistence, hard work, and hustle motion. Third one is spotting luck, which is becoming sensitive to luck. And the way I see it is people who invest in stocks and who day trade, I feel like they become sensitive to like the really short time frames and they can invest and make quick bucks by scalping. And then the other people I see kind of doing this are like people who go to Walmart, buy everything that's on clearance and then sell it for more on eBay. I think it's called arbitrage. But yeah, they spot the difference in the price and then they make money off that opportunity, which is a version of luck. So the fourth type of luck is actually the most important type of luck and it's where you turn luck into destiny. This is where luck finds you. So the person who actually taught me the four types of luck, I'll leave him in the description, his name is Naval. Um, his example of this one was where, imagine there's someone who finds a treasure deep down in the sea and he didn't know how to scuba dive or he had no way of being able to get that treasure, he just found it. And then you, you were a really good scuba diver and you love to do that. So his luck or his fortune then turned into yours because he needed to come to you so then you could go and get it and you got a piece of the treasure. So that's the best way I could um, explain it. It's where basically you mold yourself into someone where luck just comes to you and it's possible. So I'll leave that in the description if you wanna keep diving further into what that means. The third one is do what you love. And the quote I have for this one is, if you're not 100% into what you're doing, somebody else who is 100% will outperform you and they won't just outperform you by a little bit, they'll outperform you by a lot. So I really do believe that you should do what you love. And um, the best example I could really share is just me, what I'm doing with YouTube, is I really do love this stuff and that's why I wanna try and make as much content as possible. And I feel like a lot of people really do fall into the category of like they wanna just make money doing something that they don't end up actually wanting to do. So I really do highly recommend to just like follow what you're passionate about, read books about like your life's task and how you can find it and just try and just put all your time and efforts into that because you don't wanna end up working for someone else. You wanna try and build your own empire. Number four is build a strong action bias. Always go through the first couple of steps before you give up on something. So a lot of people, they always think like, okay, like I wanna do this and then they're like, eh, actually, no, this isn't, this isn't me and they don't even try it out. Don't do that. Like actually give it a try and see if you're gonna like it or not because you really do only live this one life and you don't know until you try it. And the thing is, is when you build a strong action bias, it really does build into a really good routine. It builds into a good habit because you want to always be able to just learn. Like the whole point is that you wanna keep learning throughout your life. And if you have this, people will recognize this and it's a good trait that other people really do admire. Number five is learn skills that will compound into your future. And the quote I have for this is, you don't do stuff for you, you do it for the future you. So I think the most powerful thing is having a skill that can earn you money. And there's so many different types of skills that you can learn. 
and that can compound into your future. So mine, for instance, is like me making videos, learning how to edit, learning how to use cameras, and me doing this can compound into the future by me making YouTube videos, me doing um, clients' work, me collaborating with other artists. There's so many different things, and I highly recommend just developing a skill that can earn you high income and also something that can compound in the future that you can use. So number six is you're not gonna get rich running out your own time. And the quote I have for this one is build your own dream or you'll end up building someone else's dream. So people seem to think that you can create wealth by working a salary based job. And personally, I don't believe that. And a lot of the books that I read and a lot of the people that I talk to who are very wealthy, they seem to agree with me that the, you can't make true wealth through a salary job. And true wealth is where you make money while you're sleeping. And it, even doctors, lawyers, like they still don't truly have wealth because they're still working by the hour trying to make their money. So the people who get rich are the people that create businesses or create something that works without them actually there. So I got this little snippet from Naval. He says, you don't wanna work for someone else because they have all the risks, the intellectual property and the accountability. So they're gonna pay you the bare minimum they have to to get you to do the job. And it could be a high bare minimum, but it won't be true wealth. So I hope that resonates with you. I'll leave that in the description if you want to dive deeper into that. But yeah, just remember, you can't get rich running out your time. Number seven is find mentors. The quote I have for this one is a mentor is someone who sees more talent and ability within you than you see in yourself and helps bring it out of you. This is by Bob Proctor. So what I have to say about this is like the reason I actually moved to LA is because I am getting apprenticed by another YouTuber who is really good at editing. And I truly do believe that if you wanna learn something and you wanna learn as quick as possible and be the best at it as possible, is you need to find someone who's better than you. And you need to go and tell them that you will work for free and you need to offer them so much that they can't decline. So number eight is learn how to invest your money. And the quote I have for this one is, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Albert Einstein. So what he means is whoever knows it, earns from it. And then whoever doesn't, doesn't actually pay it, but he means like, they're gonna pay for it in the long run because they're not earning as much as the person who understands it. So a lot of the people that I come across who like they say they wanna learn investing but they don't have the money or they want to, it's it's all BS, it's, it's really easy. All you literally have to do is save up money, um, know what you wanna invest in, literally do research on companies, just stuff that you own literally, and then just invest in it. Cause anything is better than holding it in your bank account because it's you're losing money due to inflation. It's better to keep it in investments. I truly really like cryptos, so you could even throw it in some cryptos. Um, don't throw it in some meme coins or anything like that, I'm not saying that. And this isn't financial advice, but I recommend really put it into something other than the US dollar and you will see for yourself that it's actually gonna grow and that is actually earning you money while you are sleeping. Number nine is take calculated risk. The, the quote I have for this one is, I think there's a difference between a gamble and a calculated risk. Edmund H. North. So I truly, really do recommend doing calculated risk with any action that you do. Um, for me, it was for when I moved out here to California, I really had to make the decision, is this really the best decision for me? Do I have enough money for this? Am I going to be able to survive out here? What am I gonna do with my car? Like, I really had to really calculate everything involved to make sure this was a good decision for myself. And you can also use this in investing, you can use this in so many different aspects of life, but really learn how to take calculated risk because it will save you time and money in the long run. So number 10, and this kind of goes in with number nine, but this is never make the same mistake twice. And the quote I have for this one is, you can never make the same mistake twice because the second time you make it, it's not a mistake. It's a choice. I really do feel like learning this early on is for the better 
and every single time you make a mistake, which is okay, you wanna try and never do it ever again. The whole point of making a mistake is realizing, okay, I shouldn't do this. And if you do it again and again and again, obviously you haven't learned your lesson. You wanna learn your mistakes the first time it comes around. And you're gonna come across this a lot in life through money, you're gonna accidentally spend a lot, you're gonna accidentally cause relationships to burn, you're gonna do many different things and you just wanna learn from the first times and it doesn't happen again. Number 11 is pick friends and partners with intelligence, energy, and integrity. The quote I have for this one is delegate to people who are actually good at the thing you want them to do. Sam Altman. So a lot of people know that your network is your net worth. And I would just want you guys to know that um, you want to, um, so, so I have a couple, so I have a couple notes written down and I just wanted to say that your network is your net worth and everyone obviously knows that. But I want to dig a little bit deeper into like who you should not be around and just dig a little bit deeper. So you want to stay away from angry, outraged, vindictive, short-term people. You want to always surround yourself with people that you can really trust and you see going very, very long term with. Um, one snippet I got from Naval, he says, surround yourself with the best people possible. No matter how high your bar is, raise your bar because you can never be working with someone who is great enough. There is always someone greater to work with and you should always go and work with them. So I hope that resonates with you. This really did with me. I, I really do believe that like who you hang around is your future and you wanna try and surround yourself with people who are changing the world, people that are doing stuff. So really take that and just think about it. Number 12 is read more and educate yourself. The quote I have for this one is, read what you love until you love to read. This is from Naval. So I really love reading because you can learn lifetimes of knowledge and I, I, I swear I've heard a quote about this, but maybe not, but your brain is just able to read and remember so much. You can remember years, you can remember whole libraries worth of information. And so many people don't take advantage of this. And like every single time I read, I always learn so much and it always makes me want to learn more. What's really made me take the best choices in my life was from books. I actually came out to California by reading a book that told me to hit up a mentor and offer them as much as I could. And that was from reading. So I also recommend that like you can have multiple books and read whatever you're into at that time. So like when I'm editing, I read editing books. When I'm learning about wealth or investing, I learn about that type of stuff. Whenever I'm learning about like mentors, I learn about like mentorship so it just depends on whatever you're in at the moment and i highly recommend reading and writing down what you read because a lot of people think that they remember what they read but in reality you don't number 13 don't party until you've done something worth partying for so i don't have a quote for this one but um this i actually do resonate with i don't party personally and i don't really drink either um it's never really been me and i know a lot of people do like partying and i don't have a problem with it it's just like you have to agree with me that it is a big waste of money and time. And I do believe that like, if you really do want to party, save it for something worth partying for. Like once you hit a milestone in something or like once you complete a project, but it's just not worth partying every single weekend. It really messes up your body. Kind of like, it takes you time to kind of like get back into the mood of like working again and it messes with your routine. I just highly recommend kind of limit the partying and focus on yourself, honestly. Number 14 is success always leaves footprints. And this is kind of a quote on its own, but anyone who you are inspired by leaves footprints. And I, I was actually told this at a really young age and it made me want to read so much about like people I was inspired by and just like study them like their YouTube work and a lot of the people I study as YouTubers and how they make it. And um, yeah, like the, one of the best pieces of advice I've ever been told is just success leaves footprints. You can really see what people have done and how the, what led to their success. So I don't wanna go too deep, but that is one piece of advice I could tell you. Number 15 is understand the four pillars of the good life. So I got this from Ty Lopez and honestly it really resonated with me. It is health, wealth love and happiness so the health part is like what you eat and like working out um, the wealth is how you make money and having financial um, freedom and love which is who you're around and how your relationships are 
and happiness, which is like your spirituality, how content you are with life, like do you meditate, that type of stuff. Number 16 is stop worrying about what other people think about you. And the quote I have for this one is, doubt kills more dreams than failure will ever. This is by Susan Kazem. So everyone has their own problems, and honestly, I realized this a long time ago, but like, no one really cares. Like, most people are literally doing what you're doing, which is thinking about yourself. All, all you really can do is think about yourself, because you're the person living in your own shoes, and you have to focus on whatever your problems are, and everyone's doing the same thing. There is no reason to um, care what other people think. You should always focus on whatever you want to do, and just once you unlock that, you really do learn that you can do anything in life. And I really feel like that is the one thing that like holds people back is just pe other people's judgment. And I, I recommend reading and trying to like educate yourself in self-development through YouTube videos, because that's how I did it, honestly. And you can just learn so much just by the internet. Like it's all in your fingertips. So I recommend educate yourself if it's like really that big of a problem, but like, everyone everyone poops on the toilet like you really just have to dumb it down to the simple fact that like it doesn't matter just do what you love and you have this one life so take advantage of it number 17 is learn to control your emotions and the quote i have for this one is if you are patient in one moment of anger you will escape a hundred days of sorrow i feel like the earlier you learn this the better you'll be and honestly, I've I've been in this case where like your emotions take over and it causes destruction. And honestly, you can always prevent it. And that quote that I just said is probably one of the deepest quotes I've ever heard because it's true. If you could just hold in your anger, if you could just learn that like your anger is just a thought that you can get over, that is a deep fact. So. Honestly, I don't want to get too deep in it, but that's a really good thing that I wish I knew when I was younger. Number 18 is be optimistic, not pessimistic. And the quote I have for that one is, the optimistic sees the rose and not its thorns. The pessimistic stares at the thorns, oblivious to the rose by Khalil Gibran. Everyone knows the pessimistic in the room, and I feel like, you know, you don't want to be the pessimistic in the room because they just always miss out on so much opportunity because of the way, how narrow their vision is. Um, they see everything in black and white and you should always see things in color, but also you don't wanna to be too optimistic because you know you can get in a lot of trouble, you'll think you'll get out of like trouble or this or that, because there's always a good balance between the two. You don't always wanna to be too optimistic and you don't always wanna to be too pessimistic. There's always a fine balance. So number 19 is write in a journal. So I have these two journals that I actually write in every single day. One is called the Finisher's Journal and one is called the Five Minute Journal. This one you write in every morning and every night and you just write what you're happy about and what you want to happen throughout the day. And at the end of the day, you write what happened towards the end of the day and what you're grateful for and et cetera. So it's just a good reminder just to just stay in contact with yourself on a daily basis. And then this one is very goal focused. So you pick a goal and then you just say that you're gonna finish it and then you write every single day. So yeah, that's what I recommend. It really keeps you on track with yourself and I think it's really nice. Number 20 is make a routine for yourself. And the quote I have for that one is, the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. This is by Mike Murdoch. So I believe that your routine is your golden ticket to being successful. And that's because like whatever you do every single day really makes your future. You know, um, if you really build your routine around like, you know, going to the gym and then you have a dedicated time of like doing like work, like mine is YouTube, and then you just like put everything else in a set routine, you really can just build off of that and then you get really comfortable with it and then you can start like growing and adding more to it. It's just really powerful, especially when you have like, you have good habits included in the routine. So just take it for thought. Again, this is just a tip. And then number 21, this is a very good one to close it off. It is try and enjoy the journey without focusing too much on the destination. And the quote is, sometimes you focus all your attention on the destination and later on realize you forgot to enjoy the process. And this goes for your whole life. I really do believe that like you should enjoy the now and whatever you're doing, whatever slows down the time, every whatever you do, just like enjoy the process. 
So make sure to hit that like button and um, comment below if you have any other tips that you want to share with anyone else. I really had to think about these 21 tips and like honestly these all really resemble like how I got to where I am today and these just shape me for who I am and these really like are the most powerful things that I've come across. Thank you again if you really stuck through the whole video like I don't even know how long this video is but thank you. See you next video.